dry weather. We're still dealing with a pretty severe drought across the entire region as far as the Concho Valley is concerned. But that fair weather really making for a pretty busy day. If you got out there today, traffic was everywhere and it's going to continue well into this weekend where we could see some of that weather impact those travel plans. Right now we're watching that big change about 30 degrees from last night to today. Again, I forecasted 36, went down to 33, jumping up to 64. Now we're going to be dropping it down another 30 degrees. Could be getting closer to that 33 degree mark tonight. Again, we're still dealing with those near freezing temperatures. So let's remember people, plants, pipes, and I think there's another one in there. I can never get it straight. So right now we're dealing with the 60s right here in the Concho Valley. Everybody else, and when we look across the entire region, that's what we're seeing. A lot of that dry air still across the entire region, causing that pretty uniform cool down. Again, we're seeing the sunset earlier and early. Looking at 542 today. And as we get a good idea of that across the entire nation, we're seeing those warmer temperatures really hang out along the Rocky Mountains. Right now we're dealing with that area of high pressure where we're seeing a lot of inclement weather off to the east, and we're seeing a lot of inclement weather make its way off from the west coast. Now that's the one we have our eye on as far as seeing that follow the upper level pattern. We are watching this storm continue to push off to the east but we have our eye this is our pocket of high pressure in that dry air this system off the west coast watch how deep this trough is going to get by about this weekend that's when we're forecasting a lot of those clouds to start making their way in and then by saturday it's going to be bringing a pretty strong storm with it but we're always dealing with the end of those stationary boundaries steve and i were talking about what we could see as a result of this maybe some light shower activity and definitely some colder temperatures so now we're watching at the radar again looking at that high pressure but this is the storm we have our eye on now we're watching this one push off to the east again that high pressure over us making its way to the east making those more pleasant conditions but this storm currently hanging over the rocky mountains is dumping an impressive amount of snow across the entire region in fact areas of wyoming slated to see up to about of a foot so let's get a good idea right now over the concho valley we're going to be seeing nothing but high pressure but watch how much snow is going to be making its way down across the rocky mountains now we have our eye on this storm because you see that circulation it stays over wyoming colorado for a while before we start to see that low pressure system create that frontal boundary push across the panhandle that is snow Right now, we're about 72 hours out from seeing something like this, so we're going to continue to monitor this activity because right behind it, we're going to see some cold temperatures with those cloudier conditions push in. So right now, let's just enjoy that pleasant weather. Again, getting down to those 30s could be getting around freezing. And tomorrow, beautiful Thanksgiving day, going to be pushing near those 70-degree marks, and that's going to really take us out towards that weekend where we're still having that nice long weekend, but we could see some inclement weather as we start dealing with that traffic and that holiday travel. Now, we could see some clouds push in pretty early in the evening, and then by Saturday, we're here. You're going to see those prefrontal warming pushing us into those 60s. Then by Sunday, pushes through, drops us down to those 50s. And that's where it's going to hold us well into that last week of November, where we're going to be hanging out in those 50s with those lows still down in those 30s. Stay tuned one more for the break. You're watching KSAT News at 5.